This is Mr. Burley at the York Catholic District School Board. In this tutorial today in Photo P, I'm going to come in here. We're going to change the color of this wall. We're going to change the color of the floor. Uh, and we want to make it look as realistic as possible. There's a couple of different strategies. We'll do the floor first. Uh, with the floor, I'm going to come in. I'm going to use a quick selection tool down in here. And you can see it grabbed up that way there. I'm going to hold the Alt key down or the minus up here if you want to. Negative and take that out of the selection. Now, this color, if I go to color this floor, it can, the color underneath can influence the result. So first thing I'm going to do is I want to put a layer in here to fade this out to try to get it as white as possible. So the way I do that is I go layer, uh, new adjustment layer, come down to, you can use any one of these and play with them. But ultimately what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get it to be as white as possible or as I guess even gray it would work. So I'm going to take color balance and see how that works. So if I take the color balance, you can see that's not really resulting what I want. I'm trying to get that clear. I'm trying to, sorry. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to come back in here and new adjustment layer. I delete that out of there. I don't want to let any other layer. I want to delete it. There you go. I'm going to, so this time I'm going to come in here. I'm going to try layer. I'm going to try a new adjustment layer. I'm going to take black and white. iPad side. So hue and saturation works as well. And hue and saturation gives you more options. Uh, so there, see, that's kind of bringing it up. That's kind of turning it a little bit lighter. You see, and taking that color out of it. It won't completely get rid of it. Um, you have to play around quite a bit and see what it colorized. No. So I'm going to keep that the way it is like that. And uh, I'm happy with that result. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go image, layer, sorry, new, uh, fill layer, color. I'm just going to leave it blue. Now what that's doing is, I'm, is it's obviously blue and it's obviously masked out all the grain underneath. So what I want to do now is I want to, I went on the internet and bring him in. And what this is, is just a color palette that I found on the internet. So it's of hardwood floor colors. I'm going to move it around so it's in a nice location, not masking it over top the, the, uh, the floor because I want to do the floor now. And I'm going to bring it down just a bit like that. Now, leaving that on, if I come back to this color fill area here and double click it, I can then do this. I can drag this around and change the colors or I can come over here and I can grab any one of these colors. Now, when I do this, you can see what happens. So I'm going to grab that ready color here. You can see that it masks the whole thing. It fills it with that particular color that I grabbed. So I'm going to click OK for now and leave that and come in here and you can do a couple things. You can change the opacity to bring the opacity down like this. You can come in here and take it into multiply sometimes works nicely or even overlay. What you're trying to do is you're trying to make the color as close as possible to the color that you're selecting. So it's a little bit of a back and forth thing. Let's take that hue and saturation layer out and see what it looks like. So if I go here, here, you can see this is a bit orangier than what that is right there, right? But you can see that. Turn the hue back on and see, does that give me my result? Uh, maybe if it does, you come back up here and change the opacity back up. Maybe bring the opacity back up to make it more realistic. So it's a back and forth thing there to try to, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the same color here as down here. So you're working with a client and they want to see what their hard, new hardwood floors is going to look like. So you can shut that off now. I'm going to leave the hardwood floors that, as they are. Actually, and I'm going to turn them back on for just a second. I'm going to take that human saturation off. And I'm going to come up in here and I'm going to change the opacity down to something a little bit like that. I think that looks better. So you can turn that back on and off if you need it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in using a different strategy. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to paint that wall. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to this time is I'm going to use the polygonal tool. I'm going to zoom in a bit, make sure I get the right spot. I'm going to click here, click up. You're going to do a better job than I'm going to do. Uh, shift middle, sorry, shift key down, and I'm going to come over this way here. And you can zoom in and out if you want to do a nicer job. Let's see, I messed up that part area. I'm going to move him out of the way. Shift key down. Whoop. I made a mistake. Let me start again. Sorry. That thing got in the way. I'll come across here. Down. Down. 
you can zoom in and out and do a much nicer job than I'm doing. Or just, I just want to show you how it's done. Shift key down, come across. And you could have also come in and got rid of that plant. One of my previous videos will show you how to do that. Down here and here and then back. So enter key and uh, there's the selection. So I'm going to move out a bit, shift it into the center and you can see my selection. So now what I do is I'm going to get the same strategy as before here is I'm going to come down here, new layer fill color. Any old color is fine. Let's do green this time just for just so it stands out. 1967 called. So now what you're going to do is we're going to bring in some colors. So I went online and typed in, you know, best kitchen colors for 2021 to see what they look like. And uh, there's some trends. So these are the colors. So I'm going to move this down here somewhere. I'm going to maybe even hold the shift key down and make it a bit smaller. Shift key down so it doesn't distort. Just so that I can see how this looks and how this looks with choosing the color. So now what I'm going to do is this particular color. I'm going to come in here with the green. Double click it. And I can come in now. And I can grab this guy and I can move him around and see the different colors. You can actually go and if you want, if you have a specific number in mind, you can come here and you can you can type the hex code. You can find the hex code of it and ship type in the hex code. Or we can come down here and we can select and see what these different colors might look like. Now what's happening here is you can see these lights. If I shut that off, these lights, you can see they're reflecting on the wall. If I do this. It's cutting out the reflection. So if you want it to make it look realistic, I'm going to leave that like that for a second so you can see how I'm choosing those different colors. I'm going to click OK here. And then I'm going to shut that color palette off because I don't need him. So you can see you can turn the color palettes back on and off as you need. You can move them down out of the way too if they're in the way. Now you can come up here and you can do the same strategy as before. You can drop the opacity down. You can start to see the lightness hit here and you can see it in here. So it makes it look a little bit more realistic like that. Uh, you can change it to multiply if you want. You can see what that's going to look like, and again, play around. You're trying to you're trying to represent the color here, and you're also trying to get the shadows. So that looks pretty good right there. But it's a case of you know taking your time and, and making it look right. So there's a color there. It is in our new version, and if you want to shut it off to see what it looked like prior to doing anything, there it is. There's the hardwood floors. There's without the hardwood floors. There's with my walls, right? I decide, hey, you know what? I don't really like that color. That's the client. Client wants to see what blue looks like. So you come back in here. You turn this on. Uh, you double click this little guy here, and let's go with the dark blue now and see what the dark blue looks like. Click OK, and you can see the dark blue is more of a gray. So let's we're gonna have to play with that a little bit. We're gonna have to come in here, and we're gonna have to play with the opacity. Bring the opacity up a little bit more so we can see those blues. Maybe we change it to normal, and then play with the opacity and see what we get. So there you go. That looks a little bit more realistic. It looks like the color and it got the shadows in here. Okay.